It was really fun. It was, it was just like there was a magic between our eyes and just a connection of some kind. It was very old-fashionedly romantic, I thought. I have a head for business and a bod for sin. Is there anything wrong with that? Melanie Griffith is starring as a Wall Street secretary with big-time ambitions in Working Girl, the new romantic comedy. And in the first of a four-part report this week, Jean Shallot asks Melanie Griffith to describe the character she plays. Uh, Tess is a, is, she's a very smart young woman who just is, she's got the odds are against her. Why? Because she's poor, she comes from, you know, very lower middle class, She's 30 years old. She's put herself through night school by herself. She doesn't, she didn't go to a fancy college. In the movie, Tess, your character, wants very much to meet a heavy hitter in the financial industry and fakes her way into a party hoping to meet him. And there you run into Harrison Ford at the bar. These things are usually so boring. You okay? Mm, I'm fine. I'm just fine. I took it. Um, and a histamine before, <laughs> and it just makes for a nice little buzz. Oh, I didn't know they let bad girls into these things. Do I look like I don't belong here? No, hmm. no, no, I'm sure you're a real ace at whatever it is that you do, do. Damn straight. She starts out as a secretary, but she's determined through her own energy and her own imagination to get somewhere on her own. But her own. And I think that what it really means is that it's, you don't have to pretend to be somebody else. You don't have to take on airs of being somebody else. Just be true to yourself and be honest about what you really want to do in life. But you do uh, pretend to be somebody else and act a, a role, as it were, and, and, and deceive people about who you really are. Yeah, but I, tr I try to come clean and I, I, the opportunity I miss it, you know, and um, but then in the end I do come clean. And, I, and uh, Tess learns a lesson about that and to just buckle up and go on, and, you know, and then, it, and then it works out, so God gives her a little gift. It's a very good cast. The, the lead man in the movie is Harrison Ford, who is yeah. very good at comedy, isn't he? It was really fun. You know, Maybe I just don't like you. Me? Nah. <laughs> the film is really Melanie Griffith's movie, isn't it? It really is. I've, I've got really what amounts to the girl's part in this. I'm, I'm the love interest. But uh, it's one of the things that attracted me to this was uh, the opportunity to do a film where I had a couple other people to help carry the load. That and Mike Nichols and the great script that we had. This is the first time I've done a real out-and-out -out comedy other than, uh, I guess, Frisco Kid you'd count, but that was years ago. And that was kind of a straight man part. I guess this is kind of a straight man part, too. I'd be your best friend. And Does that mean that you interfere in her private life? I think I'm both supportive and critical, looking yep. for the best for her. Look, all I'm saying is, if you're so smart, why don't you act smart and save your ass while you still can't? I'll see you're going to find out you're not going to have your job or any job. Do girls often talk other girls out of their romantic liaisons? I think sometimes they do. They have a certain perspective. They feel warrants that they should talk them out of it. But do you think that you could ever tell a best friend what's good for her and the guy she's dating? No. I don't think it'd be really that good of an idea to do that. You never try to do that? No, I mean, I, I on occasion try to tell people what I feel I see in their situation. I wouldn't push it on them. Do you remember the time in your life you wanted to become a professional actress or a professional comedian? Um, I remember. No. No. Well, I, I guess I always did it. I mean, I did it when I was little, and I did it in high school, and I did it in college. I um, did, like, little parts in movies, and I was in an improv group all through college. And I mean, it was always a really strong part of my life. Mm -hmm. So I always knew I was going to do that. That's what I wanted to do. Be me. Be my secretary. What do you like about your performance in Working Girl? Well, I really like the makeup and the hair. <laughs> I think Roy Helen did a great job in that. 
that it's just really funny to me. <laughs> did you ever wear that out on the street? <laughs> I did. I'd have to come home from work that way. <laughs> <laughs>